Welcome back to Jibber Jabber. In this podcast, we explore the latest advancements in technology and their impact on society. I'm your host, Sanj Segal. Please welcome Fabio Iacobini, a journalist covering the fascinating journey from AI to EI. Fabio, welcome back to the show. Thank you. Thank you, Sanji, to, to be back on your show. It's such, such a pleasure all the time. Fantastic. Well, let's dive straight in. Can you briefly explain AI and how it's transformed various industries? Well, um, absolutely. AI is said to be a threat. Everybody talking about uh, artificial intelligence, but uh, to me, it can be a tools, but uh, cannot be a replacement because we are a human being. You are uh, we are in the world to progress and to to make something good for ourselves, for the others. So I think it's not going to be a replacement, in my, in my opinion. Mm-hmm. Well, that's what lots of people are talking about. That's the debate, whether it is or whether it isn't going to be a replacement. But absolutely. Um, okay, well, look, um, now that we've heard a little bit about AI and how it can impact society, uh, what exactly is EI or the emotional intelligence and, and how does it differ from AI? Well, I discovered the first time was uh, like uh, eight years ago. I was doing a research on YouTube, and by Bill George was a CEO Metrodic, you know, the uh, artificial um, machine for the heart and for the for the body. And mm-hmm. so, basically, said uh, we can uh, we can do many things with the uh, artificial intelligence with the machine, but uh, excitement, emotion, and feelings uh, cannot be replaced for, for uh, by the machine, basically. I see. Well, that's fascinating. And and what, what, how does how how does AI and EI intersect? How do they meet? I mean, what is this road from AI to EI? What exactly is it? Well, basically, I've been brought by Wharton University in Pennsylvania, and then uh, from ChatGPT a couple of years ago, mm-hmm. and uh, start to be like you know people write. Uh, an email asking help to artificial intelligence and then uh, start with uh, also with the uh, lyrics with the music and uh, after that start to be a threat because uh, uh, I read uh, last week on BBC at least 8 million jobs have, has been uh, are going to be replaced by artificial intelligence like uh, you know garage uh, this kind of uh, storage work and this kind of stuff yeah 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 Okay, uh, um, um, the concept of AI, I, I'm guessing the emotional intelligence, which you say that not everybody knows about, what exactly is that? And how does that sort of affect AI? I mean, this emotional intelligence, I mean, are machines going to eventually have feelings, do you think, in the future? Well, uh, yes, in Japan, they're already doing doing it. You know, if, mm-hmm. if you work, uh, if you go to the hotels, uh, bathroom they say which uh, toilet is available or not this kind of stuff and also you can uh, pay 50 pence you can do also the the check for uh, um, the blood or this kind of stuff but uh, like, like i said they try so many times the hotel but the, the people uh, the guests want to see people excited experience uh, you know people cheering people uh, people moving the plate the shaking so all this kind of stuff and uh, mm-hmm. It's going to be tough, but uh, we can manage, in my opinion. Sounds incredibly, uh, just incredible, really, when you think about it. And what are some of these examples of how this integration has happened? I mean, is there, is there any real world scenarios? Is there anything you want Because everybody's talking about it, how machines are, um, how machines are going to take over the world. I read something online about uh, machines having empathy and to a degree when we look at things like uh, Siri um, and Alexa for example they're becoming more polite they're learning um, they're evolving do you agree with that do you think there is some sort of emotional intelligence linked to Google players and linked to um, linked to Apple um, and linked you know to uh, to connecting with humans they're using a human voice after all well, uh, do you remember when uh, Tesla comes out with uh, Elon Musk? You know, you can drive, it, you cannot drive the car, so just sitting as passenger as the plane. But uh, like I said, um, 
people want to have experience and uh, the brain uh, of the of the man is smarter than uh, AI in my opinion because he's able to share experience even if the machine are polite he's not gonna do it they're not gonna do it we have to be scared of this kind of job like for example storage a manual job in uh, in the factory this, this is gonna be a big threat but for yeah. the rest hospitality and then um, music you can imagine you can write the uh, lyrics you can play also the, yes, the guitar with the that. AA so yeah. it's, it's, it's very scary in my opinion yes well companies like Amazon are, are already incorporating um, you know factories where they're only using uh, ro- robotics and they're not using humans at all do you foresee a future where sales people are replaced by a, uh, by AI and EI uh, linking together uh, for example you'd walk into a shop and you'd have to interact with machines to to guide you through a store well uh, you see the um, this uh, this kind of topics is a bit uh, sad because uh, the people are being exploited by a uh, big uh, company like uh, fashion industry you know mm-hmm. they get paid two dollars every day is very you know it's unacceptable uh, for this maybe can be but uh, we need to find a way to help uh, the community the you know all the environment mm-hmm. to step up because uh, it's going to be a challenge we need to move on and uh, especially with the studying uh, formation with the university and this kind of stuff uh, high school so um, because the, the business uh, doesn't care the business doesn't care want yeah. to make money it's as possible profit. and uh, it's a machine or man uh, they want to um, well, so it, that's an important there. thing that's an important I mean you talked about work you know people working in factories for two dollars an hour that's the real threat isn't it that perhaps on some level yeah. if those people lost their jobs what would they do oh, absolutely absolutely you know now it's start to be the 30 anniversary of Ayrton Senna if you pass by Imola you know in Emilia Romagna close to Bologna when uh, unfortunately he passed away like, uh, during the, the race he said uh, every man uh, deserves at least uh, one opportunity from uh, the bottom of the world or the richest person deserves at least uh, one opportunity to express uh, himself. Yeah. That's uh, that's the thing. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, those are, those are, those are good examples, and they do showcase the potential of AI with uh, emotional intelligence. Um, what are some of the challenges and concerns associated with this integration of the two, or the two meeting of the, uh, you know, the EI meeting AI? What are what are sort of the, the concerns you have, or the challenges you think may may come to fruition? Well, like I said, uh, to me, it's not uh, a threat. But it can be an opportunity, it's like the knife in the kitchen. You can make good food or you can kill a person, it's the same thing. Yeah. So my, my opinion is, uh, can be a tool, for example, in the office, in this kind of bur- 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 uh, bureaucracy, for example, in Italy is a big, big thing, mm-hmm. you can speed up the service, like email, and this kind of stuff. Mm-hmm. It can be um, a threat, mm-hmm. in my opinion, if it's going to be a replacement. So yeah. it's going to be a replacement to say people start to get fired because maybe you work as HR and tomorrow morning you're not uh, you don't have any more uh, the job. What are you going to yeah. do? It? You're going to yeah. do a restaurant and this kind of stuff. I don't think so. So that's uh, the, I, can I, be a tool. Mm-hmm. Yes. No, I, I, I was going to say I, I read an article somewhere that you know they're working on countries are working on various models that perhaps one day everybody gets paid the same salary and um you know you you get paid uh, a minimum wage and this could be because they're bracing themselves for ai and being integrated into society and everyone just gets paid one salary have you read that article are you you know are you concerned about this move where some european countries are already investigating this um, the thing, the thing is, uh, the start to do like, uh, for example, instead uh, uh, five uh, five days work for this mm-hmm. work with yeah. the same salary because yeah. they, they discover that uh, if the the person is happier, if the person is uh, more relaxed, uh, can give a sure. better performance during yeah. the the work. But the thing is, um, we have the main company, big pharma, this kind of uh, you know. Uh, big uh, mm-hmm. factories industry want to just uh, get the 
best profit and uh, yeah. they yeah. don't care about people they don't care about uh, uh, society and uh, so this is uh, the the technology like the internet has yeah. been a uh, the, the main discovery of the century but uh, look what's going to happen with the children uh, exploitation and yeah. all uh, this kind of stuff yeah. really... we, we need to, to be controlled law and order like uh, you know uh, the judge law and order, respect the rules and then that's it yeah. this is my yeah. opinion definitely well look ethics and inclusivity and, and vital are vital in, uh, considerations and uh, I, I'm just curious to know what do you expect in the coming years what do you think I mean, I know that you're a journalist, you're, you've done a bit of research, you're writing some articles. What what can we expect in, in the next few years? Well, I, I think we are in the brick of the... to lose everything, even because we're scared yeah. about the... Uh, the war and all this kind of stuff. But I believe uh, the humanity has been uh, all the time uh, be able to save themselves. You remember the um, nuclear threat between Russia and the US uh, with yeah. Kennedy, uh, all this kind of stuff uh, mm-hmm. during the Second World War. But I believe it's gonna, we're going to um, be in a junction where uh, uh, the human being will be in control of themselves like uh, we the people uh, with the um, yeah. American constitution you know we the yeah. people with the power so we have control of the of the world no that's my my biggest even, uh, yeah i was going to no, say no, that no, not... i think it's going to happen like this because otherwise it's going to be the the you know game over for uh, yeah, for everything. basically yeah. yeah yeah and that's my biggest fear is that machines will take over and you know, begin to learn and they may think that humans are indeed the threat, you know, so that's the, the debate that machines actually become self-learning and, and think that we are actually the threat. Um, but yeah, definitely. Look, I wanted to ask you some other questions really, because it's a fascinating topic. And I know that, you know, it's, it's everywhere. The public, are t- you know, people are talking about this every day and we see good examples every day in the news of how, Um, robotics, robots, call it what you like, are actually being included in healthcare, for example. Eye operations are now being done robotically uh, and done abroad. Uh, You know, so let me ask you a few questions. Should AI systems be designed to prioritize emotional intelligence over pure analytical capabilities? Meaning that should we uh, we sort of think that uh, sh- should emotional intelligence be a priority or you think we've got many generations to come before we have to worry about it well i think to clean up uh, all the society we need at least uh, three good generation to you know to live a um, uh, good life because mm-hmm. the society is so is in big trouble with the social network with the uh, all this kind of uh, tv so yeah. um, the people need to get uh, what's the real meaning of the life and also the technology mm-hmm. can uh, can help of course because yes. uh, since the uh, internet uh, all this kind of stuff uh, uh, they shown up uh, so the our life uh, I think is much better now than 40 years ago. Yeah. But, um, you know, it's not just all about technology. We have emotion, we have, uh, you know, connection, networking with uh, with people. Mm-hmm. And uh, this is the main thing. Otherwise, we're going to be all depressed. That's what is going to happen. For example, in UK, if you take uh, six person uh, randomly, one person is... Uh, in mental trouble, you know, mental yeah. trouble, so, yeah. which is very, very sad. That's what's happening with the technology. So, mm. this is, uh, yeah. what do you what do you think about mental, uh, not not just mental health diagnosis, but also treatment? I mean, do you think that uh, perhaps um, rather than speak to a human, our first port of call is in fact talking to a machine? We're all guilty of it. We're doing it every day. People are looking at looking up their symptoms on Google to see whether it's worth going to see a doctor or not. Do you think it will be used more in in sort of mental health and and treatment? No, no, absolutely. Because uh, mental health uh, all um, linked with with emotion. Mm -hmm. And uh, for example, uh, if 
if you want to avoid or you want to treat yourself, you have to be like a doctor of yourself. So uh, strict diet, uh, vegetables, meat, uh, carbs. Also, the sleep is very important. Uh, um, you know, yes. exercise, running, uh, gym is very, very important. So you have to, uh, you know, um, organize your life in a good way. Otherwise, you fall down in depression and uh, depression is very tough to, to treat mm. and uh, mm. to go over, unfortunately. Yeah. What about uh, ensuring that AI systems ha- with emotional intelligence don't sort of bias against, uh, you know, don't sort of, um, they don't perp- perpetuate a, a bias uh, or discriminate, let's put it that way, against certain individuals or groups. Do you think that uh, AI systems with emotional intelligence could in fact discriminate against individuals or groups of people? No, I don't think so, because, um, um, you know, like I said, uh, it's going to be a tool, a help. Mm-hmm. To speed up uh, service, to speed up uh, work, uh, all this kind of. Uh, I agree with you. Yeah, but, uh, but um, of course, it's, if it's going to be a replacement, it's not good at all. Because yeah. um, you know, now, now, a couple of months ago, there was a trial with uh, um, Facebook because uh, allowed people underage, like 13, 14 years old, uh, able to log in in the Facebook, in uh, TikTok, and this kind of yeah. uh, social media. That, which is, is very, very bad because uh, people, uh, they don't get what's going on because, of course, you are uh, 12, 13 years old. You don't think uh, what's going on. And uh, you have other side of the, the screen, uh, people able to groom you or even uh, put yeah. yourself in yeah. trouble. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So, and do you think that, that AI systems should be transparent about their emotional intelligence capabilities? We don't know a lot about in you know emotional intelligence we seem to be more of an expert talking about ai um is it transparent emotional intelligence is there some way we can do research about it some way we can sort of you know find out more about this um emotional yeah the the, um, the main uh, character are uh, like i said bill george uh, uh, 10 years ago in uh, straight for the uh, straight for the university in us mm-hmm. And also Daniel Gottman, um, who started to like uh, <laughs> a party, yeah. uh, politics party about the uh, emotional intelligence. Uh, but uh, uh, like I said, um, uh, if you go during the weekend uh, with your fiancé fiance mm-hmm. or uh, friends at the restaurant, if uh, the food is good uh, and the uh, service is bad, you don't come back. If right. the... The food is average, and the, the 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 service is great. You you will come back. So it's the same thing. So yeah, this is the yeah. main thing where uh, manager, very important people are talking about. This is the main topic, in my opinion, because mm-hmm. like I said, we are uh, in this world for uh, service. This is the, the thing. absolutely. I think there is a difference, but you know, like you mentioned before, you mentioned about profits and big companies only really sort of worried about profit. Um, it, it's quite scary to think um, that actually emotional intelligence, uh, although it's important um, for profits, you know, we, we're looking at um, big companies who don't really care about service. Um, you just press a button, your parcel arrives. And very much, you know, there's no sort of interaction with people as such. Even a refund, you go on online and press a button and you return a product. You're not even talking to it. A human. No, it's all a speculation. You know, you see when uh, Wall Street you now with a computer, people get up in the middle of the night to to sell or buy the the stock market, and uh, yeah. it's very scary. And uh, there are people, for example, the, the ten richest people in the world during the COVID, instead of get poor, they became. Uh, three times uh, richer than uh, than before during the covid yeah. and people are struggling with the money yeah. so this is the the things you know, it's unbelievable now you you in... uh, sorry yeah sorry. like i said like, yeah sorry yeah, like i said uh, if uh, in democracy there are no rules is a uh, anarchy you know mm-hmm. and it uh, doesn't work in the society so yeah. it's the same yeah. I want to ask you, Fabio, because you've got a background in um, in hospitality, and I'm just interested to know if um, if AI has actually impacted hospitality anywhere in the world, and if it has, how? Yes, 
I can say TripAdvisor, mm-hmm. which is uh, a shame in my opinion because uh, it's not a luxury service, but uh, start to be a McDonald's service with a review. People uh, uh, when they step up in the hotel, they know already that if they're gonna complain, they will get a free champagne uh, discount in the room and this kind of stuff. So yeah. it's not good at all. And uh, I have to, I have to say this. I have to say that we, we're not biased against TripAdvisor. It's only your own personal opinion. But yes, yes, definitely. Yeah, unfortunately, the people uh, look for uh, TripAdvisor or this kind mm. of uh, booking doctor, dot com. Yeah, uh, I don't want to blame them, but it's like this. Sure. And, uh, sure. It's all auto- what you're trying to say is it's, it's automated the system. Yeah, it has automated, yes. and it does impact our decision making. Absolutely. Um, okay, now you're a journalist. Are you writing about this topic? And if you are, how can people read it? Well, uh, like I said, I was studying uh, around this couple of days because uh, I'm still in holiday until Sunday, so <laughs> okay. I have plenty of time. Yeah. <laughs> and um, can we well, expect people, anything from uh, you on this topic? Maybe, maybe. Uh, but uh, it's, it's difficult because uh, people, they don't know what is uh, emotional intelligence. People yeah. start to step up in the theater, in, uh, in the cinema, whatever. But uh, mm-hmm. people are, uh, they don't get what's going on, in my opinion. Yeah. So yeah. this is, uh, this is the, main, uh, the main things. Okay. Yeah. Well, how can people read about the other topics you've written about? Do you have a website? Uh, can you tell the audience how to get in contact with you, or at least what your website address is? Well, uh, you can find me in um, WordPress. So uh, let's discover yourself.com is uh, www.let's-discover-yourself.com or mm-hmm. even LinkedIn. Sometimes I shop with some uh, some uh, topics, Excellent. some stuff, you know. Yeah. yeah. Brilliant, brilliant. Well, that's truly... Uh, that's So if you want to get in touch with Fabio, that's probably... Um, the best way but listen um, to our listeners uh, because obviously Fabio we're running out of time unfortunately but um, for our listeners thank you for tuning in Fabio thank you for joining us today I really appreciate your time thank you thank you, thank and, you. Uh, so I want to greet uh, just two people so yes. my brother will uh, turn uh, uh, 30 years old uh, next Monday so in a couple of days and right. also Stefano is uh, our uh, uh, angel for the security department so okay is, yeah uh, well, no problem yeah. no problem at all um okay well look thank you to our listeners for tuning into another episode of jibber jabber the vocal part of the networking magazine stay curious stay informed and until next time bye for now